So what exactly is the new Parliamentary Act and what does it entail? This was the first year the revised legislation was put into practice, but the jury is still out on whether it's in the best interest of the country. Chi myung has more. Back in 2012, lawmakers passed the revised National Assembly Act to prevent delays in the passage of budget bills, which were often railroaded at the year's end. The new law made it mandatory for all parliamentary committees to finish their budget reviews by November 30th every year. If they fail to do that, bills are tossed to the parliamentary floor leaders to come to a compromise. The new law was put into action this year, with the two main rival parties making strenuous efforts to meet the legal deadline. We work day and night to review the bills without ever adjoining a meeting. At Tuesday's plenary vote, the atmosphere was certainly different. No shouting and no fighting, with lawmakers discussing each bill before it was put to a vote. And although the deadline for passing the budget bill was met for the first time in more than a decade, opposition lawmakers raised issues with the law. They say not enough time was given to thoroughly review both the budget bill and its auxiliary bills. Normally, those bills that are attached to the budget are looked over and approved first by a parliamentary committee. But since there was no agreement in place by the November 30th deadline, the floor leaders took charge and had just two days to review them before it was put to a plenary vote. Lawmakers say the parliament usually has the legislative authority to assess the bills that the government proposes. But because of the newly enacted law, the National Assembly merely passed the bills that were drafted by the government to meet the legal deadline. Kim Young-gil, Arirang News.